الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا له من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين أمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وفي الآخرين وفي كل وقت وحين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين عليه وعلى جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله جل وعلا وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وما قل وكفى خير مما كثر وألها وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين Believers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran in the story of Shu'ayb alayhi salam, Prophet Shu'ayb وَمَا تَوْفِيقِي إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْهِ أُنِيبٌ And my success is not but through Allah upon him I have relied and to him I return The word tawfiq Tawfiq is Islamic term. Some term is, you know, just in Islam, uh, you need statement, sometimes paragraph to, to make explanation for it. <clears throat> Among these, the word Tawfiq. Tawfiq, scholars, Salaf and Khalaf, they speak about that in details. They call it the matter. <clears throat> of Islam and the matter of relation between the slave, servant, and Allah, it is depend on tawfiq. Tawfiq illahi jalla wa'an. So we need tawfiq in everything. Support, help, divine success. We need that in our life, in dunya. When you look for a wife, righteous wife, you need righteous wife to uh, run and to be in, in, in happy uh, family. So we need tawfiq in that. We need support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tawfiq illah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you have business, to be successful businessman, you need tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are a student in a college, whatever, you need tawfiq. So tawfiq is play very extremely important role in our life, daily life. Also, you need tawfiq in akhirah. And you prepare in akhirah from here, from dunya. So you need tawfiq in your deen. And your deen. Uh, and this is the best and the highest degree in Tawfiq Ilayhi Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. So, some people they thought when they have successful uh, life, successful marriage, successful 
college, whatever, this, this receive tawfiq, that's good. But it's not all. And not the highest tawfiq. That tawfiq, the best tawfiq, first of all, that you know Islam. You know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You declare shahada and come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a Muslim, submission to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything. In your life, your death, and after death. Submission to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first step to know Allah, to know Tawheed, to worship alone Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The very tawfiq. And we have to make great praise to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamd, wa ta'ala. That he blessed us by Islam. By Islam. You worship Almighty, the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But still you need tawfiq in every action you do in this life. In your salah. In your ibadat, serving to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We see some people, mashallah, they struggle and they strive hard in their life. And, you know, support others and come to the masjid and, 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 and. and. MashaAllah, this tawfiq illayhi tabaraka wa ta'ala. And other no. So this absence of tawfiq. This absence of tawfiq. Lack of tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the point, can we earn tawfiq? Yes. Yes, it's the matter we can acquire, but you can earn it. And when you see now how can we earn tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can earn tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in your dunya, in your deen, and the most critical uh, issue in tawfiq, the time of fitna. The time of fitna. The situation of fitna. Challenge. Tribulation. We have to understand that. It's very, very important for every Muslim to understand this topic. Because we run our life in this circle. Tawfiq illayhi tabaraka wa ta'ala. Absence of tawfiq, all you have tawfiq. You don't have, all you have tawfiq. So how can, how can I have tawfiq in my life? In my deen? With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, your job, your job, your money, your wealth, is fitna. Is fitna. Test. Tribulation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, there is rights over you toward that. If you pass, give the right of the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and your money, so you pass the fitna of money. For example, you have money and you have to pay zakah. Your amount, your wealth, exceed the portion of the share of zakah. So you have to be zakah. So you collect your zakah and see it is oh, very big. Ah, very big money. So I, I can't be just this amount. Now you drop in the fitna of money. An absence of lay, uh, absence of tawfiq, lack, lack of tawfiq. But when you pay the share, when they pay the right of people, the poor, the need, in your zakah, in your wealth, and share by your wealth in sadaqat, charity, support others, support community, support even your, your, yourself, your family. So use the money for the means, for the target of them, the purpose of the money. So you pass the fitna of money. And that come by tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whatever you do, righteousness, righteous deeds, good deeds, that come by tawfiq illayhi tabaraka wa ta'ala. Tawfiq illayhi tabaraka wa ta'ala. Your family, your wife, your children is fitna. Yes, fitna. Test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How you deal with that fitna? How you deal with that fitna? So when you give the right, your wife, right, children, right, rights, parents, rights, relative rights, you pass in that fitna. And give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his right in that, you pass the fitna of family, social fitna. But if you put your wife first priority beyond 
after that your parents your you know so here drop in the fitna of family if you put your wife your children first priority before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you put you know rights of allah second or third and put your family uh, first you drop and fail in the fitna of family sometimes we do that we don't know now he, 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 we are we, we learn for that should Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Suf Sittina Aisha radiallahu anha Ummuna, our mother, our believers Aisha radiallahu anha, Prophet's wife said Al Rasulullah used to deal with her and with the member of the family normally like any other husband and father but when the salah come when the salah comes as if he doesn't know us I understand from that when you hear Bilal or Mu'adhin say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Flee to the Salah Escape to the Salah Go to Salah fastly, rapidly Because the right of Allah attends now This is the best example for us how we deal with that So his family, yes, rights of family Aisha, the, the children, everybody in the family take rights But when rights of Allah come Rights of Allah first the same your business, your business, your business. There is rules, rights, duties over us. When we do that, and our business should be halal business, first of all, and put Allah in your business first. The timing for salah, give portion for the time, 10 minutes, salat al-dhuhr, salat al-asr, maghrib isha. During business, you can do salah in your business. Or if you have time to come to the masjid, the better, the best, to come to the masjid. So if you deny that and see business first, and uh, we, we make money in this time, in this, cannot do anything absent from that, you know, at that time or schedule or whatever. So we can collect salawat together, make duhr and asr together with maghrib when I finish my uh, my uh, my job, my business. So here we drop and fail in the fitna of me. So everything in this life is fitna. Everything. We have to learn that. Everything we, eat, we earn, we have, we deal, we exercise is fitna. Ikhtibar, test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. kayfa ta'amalu. So when we do with the rights of Allah, and rights of people, rights for everyone around us, we pass the fitna. And that tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now, the aspects of tawfiq, the aspects of tawfiq. How can you know I have tawfiq? Look at your heart, look at your soul, look at your actions, daily actions. Loving of Islam. And serving of Islam, serving Islam, is that clear in our daily life duties or no? Love the Quran and Sunnah. Loving to learn, have knowledge about Quran and Sunnah. And act what you learn by loving. Do we have that or no? Loving the masjid and the thing in the masjid. Salawat. And keep in touch with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his house. <coughs> Is that available in our heart or no? Loving of others, the people around you, to serve and benefit them. Is that in our heart or no? To have mercy, kindness toward others. Start from yourself, your parents, your wife, your children, the parents around you, the, the, the person around you, the neighbors, you know. Muslims and Muslims, everybody around you deal with, you have that feeling, mercy and kindness and gentleness in our heart, or just we have two faces. Inside, outside the house, very nice. Outside the house, very nice. Very, very nice with people. But inside the house, different character, different face, different man. These two faces. And Allah know you outside and outside. So deal with what? With yourself. But Allah knows everything. So at tawfiq here, 
when we have these, I involve in praising Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanking Him that by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so I have tawfiq. So keep asking Allah tawfiq. This, the, the, the best blessing we receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after Islam. To have tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The believers, aqulu qawli hadha, in kana min tawfiqin fa min Allahi wahda, wa in kana min khalal wa naqs fa minni wa min ash-shaytan, fa astaghfiru Allah, astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له هو تولى الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله الصادق الوعد الأمين اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك على هذا النبي المبارك وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعه إلى يوم الدين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رب العالم أما بعد the believers توفيق as we mentioned is very essential very important in our life and there is many aspects for that loving Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the masjid loving the masjid al-salaf al-masjid all that stuff that clear the person that has tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also the time of fitna, the fitna of money, the fitna of position, the fitna of life, family, when you pass that by tawfiq illayhi tabaraka wa ta'ala. And uh, you are a neighbor of the masjid, that's a great tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have a house near his house subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a great tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. But you are neighbor to the house of Allah, but you don't come to visit Allah, to do salah in the masjid. What we say that? What we say about that? This is absence of tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To be a neighbor to the masjid and doesn't come to the masjid is a big problem. Yes? Big problems. Why? Because there is no excuse for the person usually who is neighbor to the masjid and doesn't come to the masjid. It's obligatory of the person beside the masjid to make ta'mir, establish and activate Baytullah by attending salawat. So at the Narration mentioned, لا صلاة لجار المسجد إلا في المسجد. There is no correct salah for a neighbor of the masjid except in the masjid. If there is excuse, this is a different issue. But if I'm neighborhood for the masjid and just do salah in the masjid or come just for one time, or that's not excuse. That's not excuse. So we have to pay attention about that because as we mentioned this fitna, fitna til haya, the fitna, the tribulation of this life. So how can we, I earn, I guess some, just some because the time almost over and continue inshallah in khatira after maghrib inshallah. How can I earn tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? First of all, we have to fix our niyyah. In everything. Our niyyah should be for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In everything, even your food. You eat your niyyah to be, to be power, to be strong, to be strong to worship Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the niyyah of food. Eh? To work and to support your family by that food. So your food, your eating, your meals for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You take thawab, ajr for that. So our niyyah should for everything mubah halal for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fix our niyyah. And we should know that we need tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to attend that in our heart before everything we prepare, plan, put strategy, everything, and then ask Allah tawfiq. 
support, help, divine success. And we should engage and involve more in Quran and Sunnah, knowledge about Quran and Sunnah, learn. And should we make for ourselves, and that's easy now, isn't that before? And before you should travel sometime days in, in very old history, days or weeks or months to seek hadith for hadith or for uh, learn about usul uh, fiqh, learn about sunnah, about whatever. And before internet, we attend that time. You may travel hours for so and so imam or sheikh to seek his knowledge and learn from him. Now at your business, at your house, you receive dozen tons of videos, radios, whatever you can do it online. Allahu Akbar. This is a great fatah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But here at Tawfiq, at Tawfiq, for seeking knowledge. Just make it yourself a schedule every day again and listen to knowledge one hour. Knowledge and make it duty like you, you know, go to the job every day to earn your income. Make it every day one hour, one hour, just one hour every day and make it two, half and half for seek knowledge, for seeking knowledge. Learn on YouTube, Imam, Sheikh, whatever you can do that. See yourself after one month. See yourself after one month. What's going to happen? You see, every day, one hour, 30 hour a month. I'll be a professor after that, inshallah. <laughs> so just make a duty every day. I sit down with my family, my wife, my children, and listen to such or topic or so and so from ulama scholars and work hard for taqwa struggle struggle hard struggle hard to seek taqwa righteousness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala generous subhanahu wa ta'ala so when the person uh, struggle hard in the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah accept him and support him or her qala rabbuna jalla wa ala close with that inshallah والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا إن الله لمع المحسنين. And those who strive for us, strive for us, we will surely guide them to our ways. And indeed, Allah is with the doer of good, المحسنين. The more you are محسن, the more you have support from Allah سبحانه وتعالى and توفيق from Him جل وعلا. We ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى at the end of that. Remind, inshallah, we're going to continue after Maghrib, inshallah, the same topic, we have many, inshallah, information about that. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at the end of that, to have tawfiq in our daily life, ameen, ya rabbil alameen, in deen and dunya, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. O oh Allah, forgive us, O oh Allah, bless us, O oh Allah, save us from devils, evils, ameen, ya rabbil alameen. O oh Allah, increase in our risk, halal, tayyib, ya rabbil alameen. O Allah, please protect and guide our children. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. O Allah, light our hearts, soul, and spirit by the light of Quran and Sunnah. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. O Allah, light the graves of Muslims dead and open a gate from paradise in it. Ya Arham ar Rahimeen. O Allah, make our graves place of paradise. O Allah, grant us your mercy, forgiveness, pardoning, and blessings. O Allah, grant us peace, tranquility, and protection from devils and evils. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabbit ala al-haqq aqdamana wa ansurna ala man adana Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma la takilna ila anfusina tarfata ayn wa la adina min thalika ya arhaman rahimeen. Allahumma rzuqna al-sadada wa al-tawfiq fi al-a'mal fi al-amri kullihi ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma rzuqna al-sadada wa al-tawfiq fi al-amri kullihi ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma rzuqna al-sadada wa التوفيق في الأمر كله يا رب العالمين اللهم أحسن خلاصنا وأحسن ختامنا وزقنا توبة نصوحة عند الموت يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقنا توبة نصوحا قبل الموت يا أرحم الراحمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين 
ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين إلهنا وسيدنا ومولانا وخالقنا وقفنا ببابك فلا تطردنا من جنابك يا رب العالمين وقفنا على بابك فلا تطردنا من رحابك وأنت أكرم الأكرمين وأنت أجود الأجودين يا رب العالمين عبادك بنو عبادك بنو إمائك نواصينا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك عدل فينا قضاءك نسألك باسمك الأعظم أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا وأن تستر عيوبنا وأن ترزقنا حلالا طيبا يا رب العالمين وأن تختم لنا بخاتمة السعادة يا أكرم الأكرمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة